Good morning, everybody. It is 8.33 a.m. And uh, it's March 21st. Time's flying by, isn't it, you guys? Um, <clears throat> I got a message I want to give to uh, the scoffers right away, you guys. I, um, I know there's a lot of you out there. You guys are clinging to me real heavy. Um, I've been trying to let you know that it's a spiritual battle that we're in. And uh, these feelings that you think that you have, it's something that's overpowering you. Okay? And I want you to know, I don't have any ill feelings towards you. Okay? I know what it is. I know it's the spirits that are in you. Because the Word of God says this is a spiritual battle. We wrestle not with flesh and blood. So therefore, I'm not wrestling with you. Um, I know exactly what it is that's going on. I also know that there's a transition going on. Uh, there's lots of wickedness that's been coming into this world now. And as people haven't seen it, but I know what's going on, uh, we're, as it says in the Word of God, in the twinkling of the eye, we too will disappear. And people won't see that any more than they seen what was coming in um, I seen what was coming in the Lord let me see that and uh, they even showed me everything that they did <clears throat> I'll show this picture I don't show it too often I know you uh, the demonic spirit out there they know exactly what this is because you guys have done this to me multiple times. Right in front of my face, actually. And uh, I just want to let you know, your time's going to be very short here. It's going to be very short. When my dream where I put that uh, golden pyramid on the back window. There's a golden pyramid. Here, here you can see the angel with the trumpet, white horse, and the bathtub where you must be washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. But the uh, golden pyramid that I put on that back window, um, that was to indicate a time. So much time. And, uh, you yeah, know, everything's going to happen according to God's plan. And you guys are probably going to be doing what you can do thinking that you're going to change something but you're not all you're going to do is fulfill the word of God just like the uh, scoffing that's going on he said that that would be happening as well um, anyhow I hope that you guys are able to overcome this you know if not in this time you know after we're gone I hope that you can overcome this because you'll have to overcome it you know and uh with that being said, you guys, I have noticed the uh, transition going on. I've also felt like uh, things have changed quite a bit in the last few days. Almost as if uh, I can feel like a pulling away. Almost like we're getting ready to be pulled away. Like I went into the gym to take a shower the other day. And uh, that song that was playing, Time for Me to Fly. You know, that's why I say you have to be paying attention, you guys. See, I, and then the band that happened to be singing it, I worked on a tuna fishing boat, too. In uh, the South Pacific. When I was younger, in the early 80s. And uh, it's about the time REO Speedwagon. But anyhow, um, you know, for that song, Time for Me to Fly... <clears throat> and that's how I feel about this world. Everything in it, it's bad. You know, there's nothing good in it. It's, uh... It's all run by the devil. The devil got it going this way, it's over. You know, but so is his time, too. The devil's time's over. Everything happened exactly as it was supposed to. The devil got the, uh... He got people going in the direction he wanted them to... Then he pretty much just let the reins go, you know, and it, it'll do itself from there. Especially when uh, people stopped reading the Word of God. Um, 
tickling people's ears and stuff like that. Because, I mean, what's written in the Bible, and then the church has fell away from it such a long time ago, that, uh, man, there's no reason that they should have, uh, that they should have ever got into ear tickling, knowing that this is, that this is written. Love not the world, neither that the things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. I mean, that right there alone says a lot. Yeah, you know, so how do you get prosperity with that? Thinking, uh, this is, uh, this is all blessings that, you know, Jesus came here to overcome what was in the world. What was in the world. And he also said, the devil's the ruler of this world. Yeah, so therefore, when he said, follow me, he didn't say, follow the world. And everybody, surely, you can see they're following what's in the world. You know, it's not, doesn't take a rocket scientist to see this. You know, what surprises me is how, um, is how, you know, people would go to church and not even open their Bibles and just listen to those ministers, boy, just, you know, and even Trump said that, you know. Boy, have you ever went in and listened to this guy talking, boy? I mean, I could sit there for listen to him for hours, you know, because he liked what he was hearing, you know. Was it coming from here? You know, but he liked what he was hearing. Remember what I said, the spirit that goes into people? Well, the spirit that was in him was uh, helping him to preach the way he was preaching. The same way like rock and roll stars, singers, you know, getting their number one hits it's the spirit that gets these people to do what they're doing just like that song uh it's time for me to fly all that is done by the spirit realms okay and it's they knew that this time and day was gonna come just like you can tune a piano but you can't tune a fish you know it's crazy but the time is here. It's time to go, you guys. Um, we've reached that crossing point. Like I said, you have to be paying attention to the spiritual realm. And the only way you're going to start seeing it and paying attention to it is when you separate yourself from what's in the world. And uh, most people, are they're chasing what's in the world. They don't even know it. You know, they're all, they set their clocks by it. You know, they're, they base their life and their time in their life by doing what they got to do to stay, keep what they've got in the world. You know, what I'm telling you is you better be ready to let it go. I mean, let it go. Don't get attached to it. Um, you'll see, you'll see a, a more clear picture of it by letting it go. Okay. You guys, God bless you times at hand yeah pollen's real high right now man I've been cleaning it off these wind, wind windows real green looking lots of pollen but uh weather's warming up here it is March getting ready to turn into April you guys see how fast this time's gone by I don't think we got much more time see I took that photo I've been showing you uh the Jewish calendar of the year is 5777. I was 17 and 77. And guess what? This May, I'll be 57. And that photo will be 77. Then we know 5 is grace and 7 is completion. Um, I believe grace is going. And uh, we've completed the time that we were supposed to complete. And then the uh, last half of the tribulation, the great tribulation, is going to kick in. Where there's going to be nuclear war, famine. <laughs> the Antichrist is going to rise from the ashes. Uh, people are going to be seeking um, a world savior. You know, people that are attached to this world. But anyhow, God bless you guys. Love you all. And uh, remember, I don't, I don't hate any of you guys scoffing, you know. You guys been saying what you've been saying for a while. And uh, 
you know, it's up to you, you know, if you want to keep hanging on beating that same drum or if you want to get right with the Lord. I would I would focus on getting right with the Lord because uh I mean, what else are you going to keep saying the same thing, you know? I mean, whatever it is, I'm not even paying attention to it. I'm just telling you that I don't hate you. Um, I've asked people not to repeat what they're hearing you guys are talking about on this channel because I don't even want to read it. Um, I know it's all ugly. It's all nasty, filthy stuff that's being said. And Jesus Christ said it's not what goes in the mouth to the belly. It's what comes out the mouth from the heart um, that says a lot about the spirit that's in you. You know, so I would consider what you're saying and knowing that uh, the anger and the hatred and all that stuff, it's from the spirit that's coming from within. God bless you guys. I love each and every one of you. I hope and pray that you get something from this message.